Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to hit today. The tropical storm, a major landslide, magnetic cores of galaxies, cosmological errors getting flushed out, and of course, the sun-like super flare potential was the subject of yesterday's top science news. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where things remain relatively quiet. We're still taking M-class solar flares, but they continue to be short-lived, impulsive, and are not releasing CMEs. We've got several sunspots and plasma filaments to monitor, so let's take a closer look starting with the sunspots. We have the same groupings as before, but as before, we see only moderate mixing potential. Strong flaring is unlikely in favor of the smaller flares we've seen from these sunspots, unless they grow a bit today. Plasma filaments are numerous and varying in size. Got a couple big ones on the disc and we're watching those for eruptions as well even while they've been as calm as the sunspots the last few days. So let's go to the tropics, northern Madagascar taking a pounding from the storm, which will then continue west towards Africa. It's the same story we reported before. It's a powerful system. Prayers for anyone in the way. Up next, we're in Pakistan, where a major landslide occurred near a village. Damage totals and casualty reports are still updating. But with this size of a slide, there is sure to be a lot of havoc downhill. Honestly, prayers for these people too. Up first in the science news is this. They have officially spotted magnetic water maser activity outside our galaxy. This galactic core has radio filaments and perpendicular magnetic fields confirming the importance of these systems from a magnetic perspective and expanding the capacity for discovery of various telescopes when they work together like they did here. Up next, another challenge to the cosmological paradigm is emboldened by James Webb. Back when it was just Hubble, many astronomers chose to ignore the change in cosmic expansion rate as a data error. Those days are gone. James Webb confirmed and has solidified the concept that there is something going on in the cosmos, and the experts simply don't have it right at this time. Lastly, folks, I'm sure many of you saw articles like this posted yesterday. Well, let's take it right to the source. Here's the paper, published in Science, and breaking down the super flare events rating at about X1000 or higher, specifically on sun-like stars. And they found these tremendous blasts occurring far more often than they thought. They had figured most sun-like stars take thousands of years to build up the juice for a super flare of that size, but now they say that number is closer to 100 years. Now, while every star is different and our sun may not quite be on that tight schedule with its super flares, one thing is certain, the sun can super flare like other sun-like stars. The geologic evidence of the past events is legitimate, and we are way overdue now for another one soon. In today's electrified world, that would throw us back to the Stone Age and likely reduce our population by 90% or more. Folks, big event coming up tomorrow at Observer Ranch, our first special guest speaker. It would be a great weekend to come out to the ranch and we would love to see you. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.